as I say, it, a bit of it is trial and error. And there is error. So, you know, we're human. We've, we've got this, in, we've got clay feet. I'm not going to get it right every time. So don't get screwed up about it. That's the first thing I've lost, I've learned. You know, sometimes I have a, if I have a sense of God, then I'll do something and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I'm not, you know, I'm not God, so I can't speak. So that's the first. I think the second is you can only speak out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. You can't speak, you cannot give what you haven't got. So you've, you, need to, you need to get the character of God into your heart. So that here, you know, coming to church, listening to the services, taking seriously, uh, giving up um, much for more, you know, great, great challenge. Well, what does that mean? So, you know, you study it in your heart, you reflect on it, you read the scriptures, you get to an understanding of God. And, and, and out of that, you know, you begin to kind of see how the character of God begins to work. And then thirdly, the way it works with me is, it works for me in two ways to be personal. One is the, what I call the nudge. It, it, it's a kind of nudge, it's kind of prompting. But God, you know, I think it's time for you to move on. Really? Oh well. Then I do nothing about it. And then the nudge goes up a scale, and then it goes up. And then I talk to my wife. Then I talk to some friends. Um, you know, which is, you know, how how I get to kind of get to a state of, of trying to understand how how that how that bit works, and then I know that, I sense that this is God, and then it's a time of discernment, intention, and I'm talking about important decisions, yeah. not what color of ink to use in the office. Um, the, uh, you know, and, then, and then I think you, you, you get to a stage where, where you sort of have a conviction, you're never 100% sure. Yeah. And the reason for that is, all of us want to, work, want to live by knowledge, but if faith were knowledge, it wouldn't be faith. Yeah. So, uh, you know, but we're called to walk by faith. Now, I'd prefer to walk by knowledge. But if you have to live by faith, you're always going to live with the fact that it may or may not be God. But once you've made that decision, then you have the sort of peace of God comes over you and you sense, yeah, I was right. Next time around, you kind of know, you know, sort of, you know, this felt right at the time I'm going to do, or, well, I was really wanting that new job because it was going to pay more money and actually I was being greedy and I didn't get it because I thought I heard God but actually it was my greed speaking rather than my God speaking.